Hi, and good day. Degenerative disc disease, DDD. This is a very serious problem. It generally stems from poor posture, forward head posture, rounded shoulders, sports injuries, falls, automobile accidents, sitting at a desk over a terminal at a computer, the head being 12 pounds for every inch it goes forward, an additional 10 pounds, two inches forward is, thir is 32 pounds, three inches forward is 42 pounds. That's the weight of that bowling ball, that head. And the back of the muscles, the ligaments, are taking a tremendous toll trying to withstand that head so it doesn't go more forward than it already is. Causing wear and tear, all in proper posture, the weight bearing on the disc becomes more compressed. The disc is composed of the annular fibrosis, the outer ring, the inner sides, the nucleus pulposus. When the outer fibers become weak, the nucleus can push out, causing it to be a bulging disc. When the fibers on the outside of the disc become torn and, and unstable because they're just frayed and frayed and wear, worn and worn, the disc can tear called a herniated disc. The inside fibers, uh, excuse me, the inside gel can protrude outwards through the outside fibers and can sit and be contained on the outside called a sequestered disc. So there are different kinds of herniated discs. The bottom line is this causes pressure on the nerves causing pain down the arm, the hand, uh, into the neck, up into the head, headaches. The lower back will cause pain into the lower back as well into the buttocks and down the leg called sciatica. Now understand about disc degeneration. We cannot repair a disc that's degenerative. You can sustain it and prevent and slow down that degeneration but we are always gonna degenerate. We have 20 year old people that have 50 year old and 60 year old spines and vice versa. The bottom line is if this disc continues to degenerate, the vertebrae come closer together. These discs keep the vertebrae apart and allow the nerves to come out between each vertebrae, 31 pairs of nerves that's coming into the spinal cord and being controlled by the brain. When the messages or compression of that spinal nerve becomes irritated, kind of like stepping on a garden hose trying to water a garden, we then are not allowing the vital messages from the brain to be sent out to the body and not allowing the parts of the body to receive the messages back at, through that nerve going back up to the brain. So the transmission of mental impulses uh, going up and coming out is diminished and the end result is symptoms, pain, dysfunction. Understand that the organs are all being controlled by these nerves as well. So it's just not what you feel in the muscles, it's all the organs, glands, and tissues of your body. The central nervous system controls and regulates the entire system of your body. So I urge you, when it comes to posture, beware of forward head posture, rounded shoulders, beware, because this will lead to future degenerative changes of the discs. And when these discs degenerate, you have a higher tendency to experience herniated discs, pinched nerves, bulging discs, and more pathology. If you have questions, please leave it below. Uh, I ask you to share this video. I think it's uh, great information for other people to experience and to understand. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.